Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Perkins as he deals with the Sovtard that he has dealt with before. You see, last time this Sovtard was in this court, he was doing all his sovereign sis and mumbo jumbo garbage and won himself contempt of court, and he had to spend 30 days in jail as a result of that. But he didn't turn himself in like he was supposed to. Now here it is many days later, and the 30 days is still hovering over his head, but he wants to move on because, well, he's suffering at this moment. But the judge will not uh, bend over the 30 days, and he wants him to do those 30 days before they can move ahead with the process. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this soft heart try to get one over on the judge. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. Okay, is this uh, Mr. Lockhart? Uh, uh, Jamil Lockhart? All right, Mr. Lockhart, you, we've already, have we had this discussion before? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hear on behalf of the defendant, Jamil Lockhart, and you're making a special appearance. Hey, hey, dumbass, this is the exact same thing that got you contempt of court last time that you were here. You were playing these same sovereign citizen games, and you won a prize of 30 days in jail. Now, cut out the antics and actually cooperate, and this will go smoothly. And maybe you'll actually learn something other than how to be a moronic paint chip eater. All right. Well, you got to make your special appearance to the Wayne County Jail. I told you that the last time. Um, yeah, so I filed a, a notice of removal for all of these cases because uh, I don't believe that um, you know this court is capable of acting in, a, in an unbiased way. Um, but I mean, there's been no response from the city, you know, to this point. I mean, I mean, just the last last court date we had, perjury was committed. I mean, you guys put on the record that I failed to appear. And I spoke to you. And you you did fail to show up to the Wayne County Jail. You were ordered to do 30 days in the Wayne County Jail. You haven't showed up. You still haven't showed up. So you're I'm still just you no, let's not do this. This is how it started the last time. You still disobeying the court's order, and you have to do 30 days. You have to uh, 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 present yourself to the Wayne County Jail. You have a warrant out for your arrest. And before we go over this other stuff, you got to go. Uh, you have to go uh, to the Wayne County Jail, all right? Yeah. Okay, sir. So, so uh, I, I said what I. I, I, I can I can increase the time if you can if yeah. you can take to not Your Honor, be compliant. Your Honor, I apologize for interrupting the proceedings. May I have a breakout room with um this litigant, please? And thank you. I don't know if he wants to speak to a lawyer, but he can if he needs if he, if he has that right to do so. You want to speak to the lawyer, Mr. Lockhart? Or no. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Join her own, please. Miss Long. Miss Long, are you there? Yes, yes. Still, well, still pretty much acting like the same old soft heart he was the last time he appeared in court. And this special appearance crap didn't help you out back then. Now, did it because they listed you as not showing up, and now you're saying that they're the ones that committed perjury. Yeah, uh, whatever, dude. Uh, you need to be a bit more uh, smart about this. Well, anyway... Two hours pass before they finally get back to him, and let's go ahead and see what happens after that, if he has changed after the 
breakout session with that uh, attorney. But I really doubt anything has changed. But I'm still interested in seeing it. Two hours later. We'll see Mr. Lockhart here, uh, you know. I don't know what else to do. What else any you can do for him, Mrs. Harris? <laughs> so you're continues, she continues to disobey the court order. Just continues to do so. Okay. And your honor, I I dare not say. Well, I well, I don't know. I don't think that it's an intentional. Well, my dear, I am going to have to just call you naive on that one because that dude is a grown man and is well aware that actions have consequences. And he should be also aware that the United States is a nation of laws, not anarchy. And as a citizen of the United States, he is uh, under the protection and has the privileges of that particular country as long as he follows the laws of the United States. But he is refusing to do so, and like I said before, actions have consequences, and he is reaping what he is sowing. So, let's continue on. Oh, I can't say that. Wait a minute. I I don't think... I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. I think he has good intentions. I think he now has a better understanding of everything that has taken place. I don't think so, because he came in here talking about he's appearing on behalf of the person, Jameer Lockhart. So I think he's on the same path as he was that got him into this situation. And he's still on this path, probably because he uh, didn't exactly drop anybody from his sovereign citizen network So therefore, they all encourage each other, and they make sure that they hold the line, toe the line, and get through it together. So in other words, he must be living in a soft, hard echo chamber. And the voices he hears coming off those walls are of those of complete morons to begin with. And Your Honor, we've, we've had that discussion at length in the breakout room. Um, he understands what it would take to resolve his matters. He understands how he has to represent himself in court. And so I think he's in a position that he wants to resolve these matters. We've had the discussion. We asked for leniency and mercy from the court. Um, I understand if, if the condition is that he still has to do 30 days in the Wayne County Jail, although we would ask if the court would reconsider that sentence now that he has taken the time to actually listen to advice of counsel and be made fully aware of how he should present himself in court. Um, I, I know that it's his intention to resolve these matters without any further court appearances or draining any further resources or delaying the process anymore. And I know that the court doesn't want to delay the process any further. I understand his behavior is what put us in this position as of right now, but we're just hoping to resolve today if the court will allow. Well, if it were me, that uh, plea right there wouldn't be good enough. I mean, the dude has got to show that he's perfectly willing to uh, move on and accept that the sovereign citizen garbage is not going to get him anywhere in life because he's going to continue to pay the price for it. I mean, it's as simple as that. He's got to learn that. And if it takes him spending 30 days or more in jail... Each time, well, then that's what it's going to take. But let's see what the judge has to say. I'm not going to, I'm not moving. I gave him ample, this is a 27 plus, maybe 30 plus minute video. I gave him ample, ample, ample opportunity. You know, and um, I'm not moving. I mean, Your Honor, I mean, in that video, it, it did. I did apologize to you for, I guess, speaking. Yeah, you apologize after you got the 30 days. Yeah, it's generally too late after that kind of sentence has been uh, passed because, well, you got to suffer with your consequences, and apologizing generally doesn't 
uh, mean that you're going to get out of it. In fact, it's probably more of a ploy to try to get out of the consequences of your actions, which is something that a child generally does. And, uh, well, it seems like these sovereign citizens are nothing more than a bunch of uneducated children at this point. I'm not yeah, apologize after the offense was. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I would apologize. Not, you and, and and you still haven't showed up, and it's been over a year, and uh, and now you want me to have some sympathy for you and to resolve the matters. I have no sympathy for you at all. Mm-hmm. I tried to discuss. We tried to have a. We uh, give you a fair opportunity. To be heard, you you keep spewing these legal theories that I've never heard of before, and um, you know, I've given you an opportunity at that day to speak with the lawyer. You refuse that. You refuse all the opportunities I've given you. And you came in here another time, um, a couple of months ago, and I told you we weren't going to hear it then. You got to go do report to the Wayne County Jail. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you had ample, you'd, have you had me, you, you'd have me go to jail. No, uh, on behalf of Jimmy O. Lockhart, I do understand that, and I, I know the court he may hear this often, but he does have a family that he supports. It, it would be a great hardship on his family, his resources, um, and his sense of economy in terms of his job if he would have to submit himself to 30 days in the Wayne County Jail. Okay, if he has a family, then why the hell is he playing these sovereign citizen games anyway? The time for playing games like this was over the moment that his wife or girlfriend or whatever gave birth to their child. So, there is no excuse for this. He shouldn't be putting his own life in jeopardy like this by playing these games. He should be out there earning a living and taking care of his children and setting the best possible example for them, not playing around with the justice system like this. I understand that the court of got inclined to change that. I didn't just, I didn't, you know, I didn't just give him the 30 days on the, I, I, he should have thought about that when I was asking him, I let him speak when I was asking him to not be, to not try to over talk the court, let me give an opportunity to speak. He continued to disobey that. He should have thought about that then. There's a whole lot of people up in the penitentiary that have uh, families that they take care of. And he's not going to the penitentiary, it's just county jail. So I'm just not moved. Would, would this court consider amending it in such a way that he, possibly he could only do weekends to complete his 30 days? Yeah, well, he hasn't even come to done anything. I'm not inclined to do anything for Mr. Jameer Lockhart or the person of Jameer Lockhart or wherever, whatever he wants to be called or however he wants to be described himself. Jamil, excuse me, Jamil Lockhart. So, yeah, he has the matters that are set on the docket for today. He has he has presented himself to the court today. Okay, you want to take a We'll we'll take off the warrant. We'll give him a pretrial date, and then he can um go do his thirty days. And he can tell the tell the sheriff in there that what his what his next court date is, and they can or somebody can rid him out then. City of Detroit versus uh, Jamil Amir Lockhart, case numbers SP one two four seven nine eight nine counts one two and three. State of Michigan. Now the laws just don't apply to him. State of Michigan versus uh, uh, Jamil Amir Lockhart, case number SX3782961. Appearance for the record, please. 
Sherika Harris, on behalf of Jamil Lockhart, sir, could you state the name of the person that you are representing on the record, please, or that you identify, please? Um, so my name is Jamil Lockhart. Well, that's a step forward. He actually uh, used his name for once instead of calling himself the man representing this cl client or whatever. I mean, it's a step forward at least, but I mean, we'll have to see where it goes. For purposes of arraignment, Your Honor, my client would stand mute, but we would ask if the court could read the charges, please and thank you. So that Mr. Lockhart is aware of what he is charged with and the nature of the charges. Let's also call SP 121-8072, counts one and counts two into the record as well. Um, the uh, SP 121-8072-1, that's a, a license and proper, uh, license and proper, um, that's a maximum possible penalties. 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. And count two of that is a no insurance misdemeanor, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP124-7989 counts one, unregistered, untitled, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP count two of that is an improper license, a maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. Count three of that is a no insurance, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail, and or $500 in fine. And SX3729611, um, that's an improper license, uh, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail, and or $500 in fines. He's got an expired plate that's in default that I'm not going to set aside. He owes $174 mm -hmm. on that. I'll, uh, as for uh, purposes of arraignment counsel. Well, again, Your Honor, Jamil Lockhart would stand mute. Ask that the court would enter a not guilty plea at this time on his behalf. Mr. Lockhart, I hope you're recalling these are all things that we discussed in the breakout room. I told you how the process works. All right, I'll enter a not guilty plea on his behalf. I'll give him a zero dollar bond. We'll set a pretrial in the matter. Or 9 22 2023 at 8 30 a.m all right yeah there so, is currently a recommendation if the court would allow a plea. no he's gonna have to go do the time so sir as we discussed I think you would be better suited if you, one, hire an attorney, two, go to the Wayne County Jail and submit yourself so that we can, your matters could be resolved. I understand last, that when you last time, court, last time I checked, he didn't want an attorney. And I, I guess you have gotten through to him a little bit. He changed it. He's not, he came in here. Um, hearing on behalf of the person, Jameer Lockhart, and then when he asked him to state his name, he came and he indicated that he was Jameer Lockhart now. So I don't know, I don't know what he, what he, um, I can say. I mean, if, if I can speak a little bit here. Um, I don't know, Your Honor, I, um, I'm not a criminal. Um, I just want to handle this, get this over with. Um, I didn't say you were a criminal, sir. I didn't listen. No, I know you didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say you were a criminal. As it stands now, these are allegations. So until until there's a, 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 a an adjudication of either guilt or not guilt, that'll determine you know whether you're a criminal or not. So I don't know. You got these allegations out here. So I didn't make that comment. You were a criminal. Right. Right. No, I'm not saying that you did. Um, but. I just want to handle this and, um, you know, put this to rest. Um, you know, at this point, I feel like it's taking up too much of my time, too much of 
you know, your time, sure. Well, if you're truly authentic in this case, I'm just going to have to say this. It is definitely your fault for falling for this sovereign citizen garbage to begin with. And uh, maybe next time you should actually pay attention to what the actual laws are and maybe study up on this sovereign citizen stuff and actually compare it to what is the real thing. And then you'll realize that this sovereign citizen trash is nothing more than that. Just trash. But you got to learn how to do research better as well. I mean, that's the only way you're going to make it past there is just by learning how to do proper research instead of just believing what a sovereign citizen guru tells you is true. Because that is not research. And, no. Um, you know, this is what I do every. This is what I do every day, sir. I serve the. I serve the uh, city, the presidents of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan and whoever comes in here. So it doesn't take up my time. This is uh, what we do. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and continuing, I would just like to, you know, get this over with. You know, pay whatever fines need to be paid. I would like to have my license back. You know, I can't rent a car when I travel. You know, I would like to be able to do that. So whatever I owe for these civil offenses. Um, uh, uh, last year, over a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I just want to resolve this. Whatever I owe for those offenses, you know, I'm willing to pay. And um, it'll be done with this situation. I don't, I truthfully don't think it's your, you know, mission to put people in jail that have not harmed anybody or committed any offense against, you know, any actual live human being. I'm, I'm only guilty of speaking out of turn. And, um, you know, I should have handled this differently. You know, I'm, I can see that now, you know, um, but uh, yeah, I, I really just want to get this whole situation rectified and whatever the charges are that I need to pay, I'm willing to do that and I'll put this to rest. Well, that's a nice little speech, but uh, you're still going to have to serve the 30 days like before. That would be the way it would work if I were the judge and well you would serve those 30 days and uh, learn that lesson and maybe you won't be such a sovereign citizen anymore maybe you'd actually learn something but then again a lot of sovereign citizens don't learn a damn thing alright I'll let him speak next pre-trial date is um September twenty second. Yeah, well, based with, on with based that, on the statements. That being, said, with that being said, I I don't think you know, based on everything that has happened, um, our history, um, the, the claim in federal court that I have against you, Michigan judicial tenure uh, complaints that I have against you, I think you have a duty to recuse yourself from any of my cases. And there we go. There's the sovereign citizen right there that everybody knows and loathes. Uh, welcome back to the world. I knew you were in there somewhere, just like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I haven't, I haven't been privy to any judicial tenure um, um, complaint. Um, my, my first duty is a duty to sit. Um, and um, I, I feel that I can put it in your mailbox. Okay. Well, all right. Well, the Judicial Tenure Commission will have to come, and they'll 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 uh, I'll have to respond to them accordingly if they if they present something to me. Okay. All right. Have a great day, sir. Next court date nine twenty two. You're still expected to uh uh to um uh turn yourself into the Wayne County Jail. Well, Your Honor, I, I would ask one one final argument. I understand that he may have indicated he did not want 
an attorney to represent him. Jail time is a very harsh penalty. And I know that the court didn't just immediately um, come to that decision. I would ask if the court would consider some of the things that were stated on the record in terms of he now has a better understanding. He is remorseful of how things played out. And I would ask if the court would issue a monetary fine for the contempt rather than jail. If the court would please. And he's got a proceeding in federal court against him. So what, 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 where is it, you know, Where's this uh, that that I, I'm, I'm simply trying to protect? But again, Your Honor, my, but again, my, Your Honor my, Mr. Right, Mr. Lockhart, a, and, um, on behalf of a, Mr. Lockhart, stop, 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 stop. What I'm saying, the court has to be has to understand the fact that a lot of these things came into play before today. So if in in fact there was something filed, it was before today, before having a better understanding of how the process works how to conduct oneself in court, and that one is held to the same standards as an attorney. I would ask if the court would consider converting that jail term into a monetary fine. Not at this point. Not at this point. Your Honor, I only have a federal claim against you as a, as a means to try to keep myself out of jail, right? It, it's, it's not something that, that I want to do, you know. You can take any action. You can take any action under the law that you choose to, sir. I haven't prevented you, or even tried to even attempt to prevent you, and I can't prevent you from from doing it. I don't want to do that. I just want to handle this, pay whatever I need to pay, and and move on. Well, the quickest way is to ride those waves like a surfer, because if you fight those waves, they'll take you down every single time. And guess what? You might just get eaten by the sharks in the waters beneath you. Well, again, you know, not, advocating not on behalf of... Uh, needs to be sitting in jail. I'm, I'm an upstanding individual. I have a lot of people that depend on me. And well, I haven't harmed anyone, and I never would. Understood. Thank you for that allocation. But on behalf of we, defense, would now move to ask if the court would allow a hearing on the contempt proceedings. That hearing has sailed. He has been gone. He has what thirty days to for the hearing. Procedurally, that has sailed a long time ago. He so he already showed, had a hearing on it. No, you. We asked him offered a hearing. On that, we offered him an attorney on that before we entered into the, uh, uh, found him in contempt. We offered him to speak with the lawyer on that day. He, he chose not to. It's been over, I would say, uh, quite frankly, a year at least. The motion he was, he was going to file a motion by 527 2022. Um, um, I, it's it's been it's been a long time. Those things have those ships have sailed. But your honor, arguably he didn't have the assistance of counsel. So I would ask, did did we go through all of the Of course he didn't have the assistance of counsel? It's because he didn't want the assistance of counsel. Had he had that assistance, this process wouldn't have taken over a year steps for him to waive his right to counsel in that type of proceeding well you can go back and look at the transcript if you want if you want if he wants some representation now he can either be a kind of court appointed director a lawyer or he can hire a lawyer on his own but at this at this at this juncture i'm not inclined you know i i get people tell me i'm too lenient and I'm I'm a defense judge, and I'm I try to be fair to everybody that comes through here. I gave Mr. Lockhart, and I'm giving Mr. Lockhart now uh, over a half hour when other people only get five minutes to speak. I gave him ample time today and back when he came in court the the last time. And you say that he's changed, but he came in the court today. 
spewing the same stuff that he said he started out before he talked to you that he did when he was there. I read those motions that he filed, which was in the court's eyes, had no basis in law whatsoever. None. I've never seen those legal theories that he's purporting. I don't know if you, uh, well, let me strike that. I've seen those legal theories that, that he's reported, but I've never uh, seen those in the rules of, uh, of, 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 of court rules. I've never seen that in um, any of the uh, uh, law books that I've ever read. So I told him this back then, that he needs to go get the rules. I gave him an opportunity to read the rules of procedure. He refused everything. Now, is the transcript of it? it uh, you can order the transcript. He can hire his own lawyer, and he'll get whatever kind of hearing that he will get. I'm not going to refuse myself from the case. Understood, Your Honor. Okay. That was nothing so further. Very well. Next court day, September 22nd, 2023, will be a free trial. Have a very good day, sir. And again, your, your word to, 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 to turn yourself into the Wayne County Jail. Okay. Have a great day. Well, if he gave his word uh, to turn himself into that jail, I don't think he's going to keep his word because it didn't exactly go his way anyway. So... I don't think he's going to uh, want to spend 30 days in jail if it won't benefit him at all. I mean, it's just the sovereignty in nature in him at this point. I mean, that speech he gave earlier seemed rather fake to me. And uh, that part about him trying to get him recused from his ca the case, I mean, that's just more sovereignty and stall tactics right there. I mean, he hasn't learned a damn thing, and he probably never will. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.